Sugar Hill Creamery, the Sweet Life, sent out another shipment. Uh, just to remind you that, hey, we're in the nationwide shipping game too. Find us on Gold Belly, check us out. But they fly a little under the radar. They're all the way up in Harlem, which is, I guess, a little out of the way for New York City. Scoops, stop. And B, they're just new to the shipping game. So the first, uh, they sent a pack of three. I've only got the two of those three flavors though. The first two had a solid eight out of 10 rating. Um, this pack has four and we have two seasonals, a gingerbread cookie dough. Sorry for the glare, Let me tone that down a little bit. And peppermint. Last two are, I mean, I guess, I mean, they're just, I guess they're gonna be random flavors, but they are available for shipping right now. And that's birthday cake, and ASAP Rocky Road. So we're gonna start off with the seasonals, let you guys know a little bit about Sugar Hill Creamery. Both of the seasonal flavors involve a sweet cream base that has been steeped with their respective ingredients overnight. So basically we have a sweet cream for the peppermint. We have a sweet cream base and they take fresh mint, steep it overnight, then strain it out. And for the ginger snap, gingerbread cookie dough, we have the same sweet cream, but they blend in actual gingerbread cookie dough, which is the mix-in. So, out of everything I'm scooping tonight, this, this is my biggest complaint out of all the four of the pints, is I think they could have done a much better job with the base. I think a different flavor profile would have gone a long way. So basically, when they did this steeping process, it's just a not, it's an extremely mild, flavor. It, in fact, is so mild, I don't think I would be able to identify that it's a peppermint ice cream or a gingerbread ice cream. But it's just flavorful enough to where it throws it off where it's not just a plain, you know, beautiful tasting sweet cream. I have no issues with either of the seasonal pints as far as mix-ins. Starting with the peppermint, we have dark chocolate bark and then candy canes. So this alone is your fantastic like mint chocolate combination. Now, Think more peppermint sweet and also more bitter dark chocolate flavor, but it's still a great combination. Texturally, the candy canes are crispy while the chocolate uh, flakes are thin and crunchy. They hold up really well. Great job all around with these mix-ins. The gingerbread caught me a little bit off guard. It is cookie dough, but it's not chunks. It's in the form of, I'm gonna say like a thick and gooey swirl and the flavor is bold very strong candy ginger flavor is the most prominent followed closely by cloves and on the tail end there is a little bit of molasses so overall it's a great gingerbread flavor but it's certainly way more spicy than it is sweet like i said in the intro though the bases are what's holding these back. I wish they would have opted for just a completely different flavor profile. With that said, the mix-ins carry all of your flavor and they do a pretty good job of it too. So, peppermint is a seven and a half out of 10 and ginger snap cookie dough gets a seven out of 10. I've been eyeing ASAP Rocky Road quite a while from uh, Sugar Hill Creamery. I want to say I saw it, it's been at least a month, maybe two, but nonetheless, finally got a hold of it. And the combination, the, the flavor profile sounds crazy good. Listen to this. So it's a milk chocolate with toasted hazelnut ice cream, marshmallow swirl, doesn't say that, but it's a swirl, Oreo cookies, and graham crackers folded into the base. So we're going to address this, don't worry, but I want to go ahead and show you in case I don't come across any more. But you can see a little chunk of the graham here marshmallow swirl and then here's your oreo chunks but let's dig into the base so we have milk chocolate ice cream with toasted hazelnut i guess churned into it i can tell it's a milk chocolate but it's not near as sweet as a usual for milk chocolate because of such a strong toasted hazel toasted hazelnut flavor like it's crazy bold and it slightly overpowers the chocolate but it still pairs pretty well, if that makes any sense. The bottom line is it's the toasted nuttiness of the hazelnuts that is so potent within the ice cream. As you can tell from what I previously said, I am unimpressed with the quantity of mix-ins. Just because this flavor solely relied on them, relied on them, and I had such huge expectations because of that. But 
your Oreo was by far the most abundant mix in, even though there wasn't a ton of them, but they were the largest too. They are your, they're your standard Oreo. Sweet cream, sweetness with the dark bitter wafer cookies, although it was way more chocolate than it was sweet cream. You do get, you do get a little bit of both. And they're soft and chewy, just like dunking them in a glass of milk. I wanted so much more from the graham and marshmallow though. Like it would have been an awesome pairing and a little bit of a play on s'mores for that matter. Nonetheless, the marshmallow is obviously pretty sweet, which helps to cut the, you know, the toasted and boldness of the, the hazelnut in that base. And it's very similar to fluff in terms of texture. Think light, little airy, sticky, gooey, not overly dense. As for the graham, I mean, you can see a little bit here. I'll show you like, there's a chunk here, here, down here but it's basically irrelevant. Flavor and texture, completely irrelevant. This flavor has a incredibly high ceiling and it can be achieved with just one simple fix and that's amping up the quantity of the mix-ins. Seven and a half out of 10. Lastly, birthday cake. Is anyone as much of a fan as I am of birthday cake? cake flavored stuff. I mean, listen to this. Homemade vanilla cake with royal frosting and rainbow sprinkles are churned into our vanilla base to inspire a cake and ice cream dream. I love how Sugar Hill just keeps this one so simple. The base is just a straightforward classic and sweet vanilla that lets the mix-ins do the talking. Beautiful, creamy, and dense consistency, which I just realized I haven't touched on yet on any of these flavors. Certainly a premium ice cream, although not the most premium. Then it's as easy as adding frosted birthday cake chunks to the mix. Chewy, yes, but they're also light and crumble apart. However, it's a soft crumble. The flavor doesn't pop, but it does have a noticeable different vanilla cake flavor as compared to the vanilla base. The frosting is an awesome addition, but I found myself wanting more of it. I know, right? Shocker. It's tough to see amongst the base, but the sweet and rich butteriness is pretty darn good whenever you come across it. Don't forget about the sprinkles. Slight crunch, but no flavor. However, that's expected since it's the signature touch for eye appeal only. Not the best birthday cake pint I've ever scooped, but it gets the job done. What I appreciate most is the fact that the base is just, like it's just a milky vanilla. So it literally feels like you're eating vanilla ice cream with your cake. So with all that said, just a few tweaks to the cake pieces, and this could easily be in the top tier of ice creams. Eight out of 10. In summary, I believe I saw a post from Sugar Hill, it may have been a story, but a statement saying that they're done shipping for this year. That doesn't mean you can't order, you most certainly can, you might just not receive it until the new 2021 year. With that said, go check out their flavors on Gold Belly because their standard lineup is very good too. In fact, I like, uh, I'd probably say a lot of their standard lineup flavors, I just happen to like them better than these. Doesn't mean these are bad, I just like them better than these. So. I 100% think this is worth investigating or checking out, and they do have a, a pick your own pint pack, if that's your thing. As always, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.